I'm going to start off this video with a simple question. Have you ever seen this scenario before? It could be a pro player from the team who you support, or it could even be a teammate or anything like that. A player who either hardly trains, or when he does train, he has the most casual, I don't care attitude, and he trains poorly, essentially. But when it comes to match day, this player seems to be the best. He sets the standards in the games. He does those special skills with full of confidence, scores and creates goals, but they don't train. How is this possible? Whenever I talk about this subject, I instantly think about the 2017-18 Eden Hazard at Chelsea. Being a Chelsea fan, obviously I watched him all the time and the stuff he did was incredible, but he's always been famously known for how poorly he trains. So how is this possible? Should you simply stop caring about training? Well, the short answer is obviously no, but there are a lot of things that we can learn from players like this. So why do you think players like Eden Hazard in his prime and other players who train poorly do actually go on to have these incredible games in matches? And the answer is that they're simply comfortable and completely confident. They're confident in their own ability, they trust in their own ability, they know they're incredible players, and because of this, they don't need to add any unnecessary pressure onto themselves, probably just like what you do in most match day occasions. So as I was saying, they have incredible talent and they know they have this talent. They know they're amazing players and they go into matches with this mindset that there's no pressure on them. They just play to the game they know. They're confident, they're comfortable. Their mindset is in a place where you know his or her mind is familiar with, which allows them to go on to have these really good games. And this is the mindset that you need to have. You need to go into games knowing that you're an incredible player, knowing that you have the talent and the rest will take care of itself. There's no need to add unnecessary pressure onto yourself. There's no need to worry about how you're going to perform, what will happen if you perform poorly. There's no need for these negative thoughts at all. You need to get rid of these and start not even necessarily thinking about positive things, but just having the trust in your own ability and knowing that you're an incredibly good player and you're where you are for a reason you're in that team for a reason, your coach and your teammates trust you for a reason, so it's time you started trusting yourself. So like I said, there are things to learn from these players, not the fact that there's no need to train well or train with you know, a tough mentality, have a hard working mentality. They did not get to where they are right now or were in their prime because of lack of work. It took years of dedication and work to get to where they were but once they were at a certain point confidence and trust sort of took over that aspect a little trick i like to use with a lot of our clients when they struggle with confidence is whatever the occasion is whether that's team training or match days when you go onto the pitch you can look around look at the opponents look at your teammates and think no matter what happens today I will work harder than anyone else on the pitch. So nothing bad can happen. Even if technically you're not having an incredible day, it doesn't matter because you're going to work and put that extra 10% in that no one else is willing to on that pitch. Because I know that because you're watching this video, you're not a lazy trainer, you're a hard worker, and you're a good footballer because of that reason. So this is what I used to do personally as well. I used to step out onto the pitch and think, oh, you know, I recognize him from last season. He's a good footballer, but I don't care. I'm going to work harder than him. So have that mindset of no one will work harder than you, but also have that mindset that you're a good player. You know within yourself that you're an incredible player. Have the confidence, trust in your ability, trust in your instincts, and then adjust where needed. That does separate quite a lot of mediocre and good players, where the mediocre players sort of overanalyze, overcomplicate, and overthink everything. The good players just trust their instincts and go with their gut feeling. Yes, they might make mistakes, but they're good enough and adjustable enough to make adjustments where needed. Whereas the mediocre players are just constantly trying to play catch up. So the biggest take from this video is trust in your ability. Know that you're a good player. Know that you have potential and enjoy football. If you did enjoy this shorter video on the topic of lazy trainers, please do consider subscribing if you're not already and leave a like on the video if you haven't already. I do thank you very much for watching the video. Again, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it and I shall see you in the next one.